today I'm here with a review for The Cage Queen by Kristen Cicerelli. I ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5 stars, so without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> this follows Roa and her sister who have always been very close to each other. Then one day, a terrible accident tears them apart and leaves Essie's soul stuck in this world. It was never meant to be Essie who ended up dying, it always should have been Dax. It took three months for Roa to marry Dax and become the queen of Fireguard. On the night of the relinquishing, Roa swore that she would bring her sister back and in order to do this, she needs to trade her husband's soul with Essie's. So I absolutely loved The Last Namsara. You guys know it was one of my favorite books of 2018 so I was a little bit hesitant to pick this one up but also super excited about it. The writing style of this book is just so beautiful and it flows so nicely. I loved the inclusion of the short stories and the myths and the flashbacks that was very similar to the structure of The Last Name Sara. I really loved learning about the politics of this kingdom and who was playing what side. It was very hard to figure out who I wanted to trust and who I didn't trust. The pacing of the story does start off very slowly but it does pick up as the story progresses. I was so invested in every single one of these characters and I wanted to know what was going to happen next to them. Right from the very first chapter, I was hooked on this story. I also really loved learning more about Roa and why she chose to do certain things that she did in book one because I was a little bit iffy on her and what I would feel because I loved Asha so much, but I actually really liked her side of the story as well. I loved how huge focus of this book was the sister relationship between Essie and Roa. I think that it was so incredibly done and I just loved reading about it. I also really liked the brother-sister relationship between Asha and Dax that continued from The Last Namsara, although Asha didn't really show up in the book until the very end. I still really liked seeing them together again. I loved Dax, obviously, from the first book. I thought he was a little angel baby unicorn cinnamon roll and he continues to be a little angel baby cinnamon roll. I love how his character developed throughout the story and how so many people underestimated him because y'all should not underestimate Dax because he he's a fighter. I'm just saying. I really liked how we got to see Dax through Roa's perspective because I think that it gave us a different side of him than what we saw through Ash's, his sister's eyes. I'm a huge sucker for the hate to lover trope so you know I was here for Roa and Dax's relationship. I loved watching them learn to trust each other and love one another and it was just so precious. The biggest complaint that I have about their relationship is their communication because like so much could have been avoided if they just talked to each other about their issues and what they were feeling. Eventually they do. Things get resolved, thank god, but I was sitting there like Oh my god, you guys are so annoying. It just, it drives me crazy when they don't talk to each other. Maybe it's just me. I also really loved our villain in this book. She is so cunning and just downright a terrible person, but I loved every second of it. I think that like my major complaint, which is why honestly I only gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars, is because where are my dragons? I was so excited to have more dragons from the first book because that was like one of the biggest reasons why I loved it so much. And there was like no dragons in this, only like a couple at the end and I was like, mm. but overall loved this book. Definitely recommend if you haven't picked it up yet. I'm super excited about the third book coming out, but yeah, definitely read this. All right guys, so that was my review for The Caged Queen. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Loved it so much. Definitely recommend. Let me know down below if you guys have read this book, what you thought of it, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.